Ginger Pops, another video. Um, just wanted to go through some pops that I'd gotten on a pop hunt um, this past weekend with my wife uh, for her birthday. Got a couple things she was looking for. I found a couple things I was looking for. And then the big thing today is this Funky Bop. Oh, that's upside down. Funky Bop, $60, six pop mystery box. Guaranteed value of 60 bucks. You can have sub grails, vaulted, exclusives, chases. Um, they can even have commons. Um, he, now, he did tease two on the Funky Bop's Instagram page that could possibly be in here. One of them was Shiva, the Walking Dead supply drop exclusive, and the other one was Scott Pilgrim. I really want that Scott Pilgrim. Fingers crossed. So, let's go ahead. First place we hit up was Barnes & Noble. They had an amazing sale. I think they still got it going on. Funko Pops at $14.99 or under are two for ten. Two for freaking ten. Uh, so I... Well, my wife found the Barnes & Noble exclusive blue troll. Oh, there's a little bit of troll hair peeking out the side of the box. I don't know if y'all can see that. <laughs> um, yeah, the blue troll from... Oh, trolls. <laughs> Barnes and Noble exclusive. Um, at the end of the video, all this PPG for everything that I open at the end of the video, so I don't have to go through. Uh, next one we found at Barnes and Noble was one that I was really looking for, and that was Marilyn Manson. So I just I, I like how they did the whole pop. I like how they did the eyeshadow. And I like how they did you know, the black that eye. Um, this one I was really excited for. Um, I'm trying to collect all the, at least the pop rocks um, of artists that I've listened to or grew up listening to. Um, you know, it's uh, oh, there was one Walmart find. Um, I am a huge fan of The Office huge, huge fan of The Office. Um, and I found Dwight Schrute with the Sapler and Jello. Really excited to find out. First of all, my wife spotted it, but before she could say anything, I was like, oh, Dwight! <laughs> that was all another story. Um, oh, I'm sorry, this is another Barnes & Noble find as well, too, for my wife, it was the very godmother from Cinderella, so that completes her Cinderella set. She was beyond happy to find that. Um, last four that we got, um, we have a local hobby shop here that I didn't know. There's like a local Funko Pop Mecca. <laughs> um, I found out from the girl who checked us out at Barnes & Noble. She's like, hey, you need to go check out this hobby shop. And we immediately went from Barnes & Noble to that hobby shop. Um, first one my wife found was Young Anna from the first Frozen. She's uh, my, my wife, if you can't tell by now, loves Disney. So um, just about any Disney pop we find, um, she's going to be more than happy with. Um, my wife is also a huge Nightmare Before Christmas fan. And I forgot, this is another Barnes & Noble pop. This didn't come from the hobby shop. Uh, Dr. Finkelstein from Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, this is actually her first Nightmare Before Christmas pop. Um, we just started collecting in March, and I believe we're up to about 100 now. But this is being the very first Nightmare Before Christmas one. Kind of shocked me. I was kind of hoping that we would have had a few of them by now, but, you know, things happen. Um, now, these last, the, the last one I'm going to show you is a personal grill for my wife. Um, she found it, and she's like, I have to have this. I didn't care what the price tag on it was because she was so excited for it. Um, we got Ginny Weasley from Harry Potter um, flying on the broomstick, uh, you know, in her Quidditch uniform. And she's got the, whatever you call that thing in the jig, the waffle. 
Well, whatever. It's a ball. Uh, <laughs> I thought she was excited for that. Um, this one, my wife's, my wife's also obsessed with Harry Potter. And she found her favorite Harry Potter in pop form. Bellatrix the Strange. She was the one who killed Sirius Black in the movies. And, you know, which is real, like, twisted, demented, messed up chick. Um, and she found this one in... I mean, it's, it wasn't very much. I mean, it really wasn't. But, um, and, and by the way, why does everybody put a price tag or a sticker right over the barcode? That drives me nuts. Stop it! Uh, <laughs> so, but yeah, so she was super, super, super excited for that. Um, glad we were able to find it for her. Uh, now to the... Uh, the main event, I guess we'll call it. Fun Funky Bot Mystery Box. Um, this was supposed to arrive today, on Monday. The 17th. Today's Monday the 17th of August. Sorry. This box was supposed to arrive today. It actually arrived yesterday. Which is a United States Postal Service delivery packages on Sunday. I'm not going to complain. I'll take it. Of course, I was at work. My wife had to get this off, off the porch while I was working. Um, all right, let's, let's get into this goodness goodness of box of good I don't know so we got a funky bob cart it's kind of cool um, I, I know the, the the owner of funky bobs is Eric um, cool guy super good guy um, one of one of the other good people I, I follow, you know, a part of their Patreon page, you know, we, we you know, talk here and there, um, channel Bad Bod Shenanigans, you can check out his, his, um, his channel, I will post a link on the bottom for you to go check that out, um, there was two guys, um, that were also, uh, Patreon members, who, um, kind of got the raw end of a deal on some Instagram boxes, and, um, Eric from Funky Bob um, stepped up and was like, look, I, I, I want to make this right. I don't want everybody to think that, you know, all mystery box companies are bad. And he uh, he really did a good thing. And they, I, I applaud him for that. And, you know, that nobody else uh, that I know would have done that. But he did that. And I thought that was kind of cool. Um, so inside that box, we have a box and a box. Let's not throw the box. Alright. I don't know where my pocket knife is, so I'm having to use a paring knife. <laughs> I'll find it eventually. It might even be in my truck. Who knows? Well, that's cool. All right, so I managed to open up the box upside down so I cannot see what's inside. That's it. Cannot tell what's inside whatsoever. Um, nothing is in protectors. So um, he did say that there was not going to be any Mega Grail hits in this box. Um, for 60 bucks, I didn't think there would be. Um, let's get into the, f the first one. Awesome. Got Naruto. Um, I honestly don't really watch Naruto. I, um, I was big in Dragon Ball Z back in the day, and I do collect Dragon Ball Z, but... Um, 
Yeah, I don't know anything about Naruto except that he has a headband. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, so, I'm sure there's somebody out there who is destroying me right now in the comment section. Ooh, I just saw the side of this one and I'm really excited. Yeah. Iron Man. I'm, I'm a huge Marvel fan. Huge. I love Iron Man and I love the, the classic um, comic looking Iron Man pops that they came out with. I've seen a couple people open them in other boxes. And I was like, you know what? I really want one of those. And now I have one. So thank you, Funky Bops. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, personally, I'm a huge Captain America fan. I will get him eventually, but that's awesome. Uh, and these boxes are in immaculate condition. Um, I mean, this one's got some little crunching on the bottom. Uh, you know, probably just something that happened in shipping. Um, I'm not going to freak out too bad over it. It's, it happens. Um, you know, once, once, once they leave your facility or your, wherever you're shipping from, postal service, they're, they're going to do whatever. Next one. My wife is going to freak out over this one. We got Tinkerbell. Series 1 Tinkerbell at that. Um, like I said, wife was a huge Disney fan. Um, my three-year-old daughter also loves Tinkerbell. I don't know who's going to freak out over this more. I mean, there is a little bit of, um, of a, you know, some crunching here. I don't know if you can pick that up. You know, then like I said, you know, like the, the little bit on the bottom of the box. It's not that bad. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm not going to freak out. Like, I'm totally cool with that. Uh, next one. All right, we've got Tracer from Overwatch. Um, I do play Overwatch. Not very good. I'll be the first one to tell you that. I am not very good. And I don't ever use Tracer. So, yeah. Just... But I am super stoked for that pop. That is a nice pop. I do like how they did the uh, the blue around her, around the pop there in the background. I don't know if you can see that. And I love how they got her pointing both guns. Um, that's kind of cool. All right. I almost bought this one. This is really heavy. This is, like, not light. We've got the Unicorn from Onward, the Hot Topic exclusive. Hell yeah. Um... Oh, so is the Hot Topic price tag on there. Um, but yeah, this is this is pretty awesome. I like this. I like this a lot. Um, I liked Onward. Onward was a, uh, it was, it was, it was a good movie. I mean, I'm a, you know, I'm a grown man in my mid-30s. I still like it, so sue me. Um, last one in the box. And... You know, so I'm, I'm overall, this was an amazing box. I really like this. I'm really extremely happy with this. And I know um, in the future I will be doing more business with Funky Bob just because, you know, he's he's a good guy. He's an amazing company. And, and you know, he's, he's very transparent. You know, he, um, he he does what he says. He says what he does. Um, he's not one of these, um, like, the Instagram boxes that are just trying to dump a bunch of comments on you. So, um but Eric, thank you so much. Great, great, amazing box. It's awesome. Last pop. Again, my wife will be happy. Jack Skellington. From, okay, so this doesn't make sense. The series too, but it has like Lotso and like some Monsters Inc. and stuff. But you know what? I don't care. It's still a cool pop. It's an awesome pop. My wife would be happy. If she's happy, I'm happy, which means I don't have to sleep on the couch. Um, yep, and that was everything from the box. So, um, thank you so much for watching. I, I know the, um, the camera setup isn't the greatest right now. I am recording on my iPad. Um, I do have some 
good cameras and lighting rigs and everything coming within the next um, week and a half, two weeks. Um, so the, the quality of my videos will be improving. Um, just please hang, hang, hang in there with me. And uh, I promise things will get better. And I'm going to do something you know, super special for you guys too. Um, you know, again, thank you. Um, like, comment, subscribe. What, like, what was, what was your favorite pop out of the box? Um, I, I mean, my, my personal favorite out of the box is going to be Iron Man. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a little... <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm a little biased, but um, but yeah, thank you so much for your time, and have a great day.